Are all of you ready for the madness? What's going on, people? As per usual, hope you're all enjoying your morning so far, sipping on something, staying hydrated. Welcome back to the show, Esports Talk. Today we talk about, guys, some intel from a trusted source on the Optic Gaming and Chicago Huntsman situation. I want you guys to know, as per usual, this is business. Nothing is guaranteed. Anything can happen. I very much trust my source in the information I've been handed on the current situation of that being Hector Rodriguez buying back the branding and in all... Optic Gaming as well, back from Immortals Gaming Club, and with it, now holding two CDL or Call of Duty League spots, one in Chicago with the Huntsman, one in LA, technically with Optic as well, and set to sell one of those spots. I have been told, well, a slew of information, so again, take this with a grain of salt, guys. I do trust my source, but anything can happen, and still nothing is guaranteed or 100% as of right now. I was told right off the bat, though, that yes, there were several buyers contacted for that LA spot, Nade Shot was at the top of the list of someone who could actually buy that spot and apparently he was all in but he had to convince a board the 100 Thieves board to actually, of course, go in with the investment, which it seems they might still be financially strapped. If you guys are 100 Thieves fans out there hoping for LA Thieves to be a thing, it does not seem likely. But it gets even crazier from what I've been told about the league being very tricky with these dealings. It seems that the league itself may not even allow the Optic brand to leave the city of LA. That would mean some, some pretty crazy stuff for the future. Apparently, the league is actually making it so these brands have to stay with their established cities, meaning the Huntsman would have to stay in Chicago and Optic would have to stay in LA, which means that I've been told NRG would in fact acquire the OGLA team and spot and thus sell the Chicago Huntsman to anyone else or a newcomer or a new round of investors who wants to come into the league. Yes, I just said that. Something that I, I honestly did not, I don't think I really saw coming. Apparently Hex might have wanted or, you know, supposedly did want Chicago Optic to be a thing was not allowed by the league because Optic apparently has to stay with that LA branding and so with that being said NRG has to acquire the OGLA spot and with it Optic Gaming and sell the Chicago Huntsman to any newcomers who would possibly want it. Now that does not mean a newcomer has to take the Huntsman branding, but you can imagine currently the number one most popular Call of Duty brand is the Chicago Huntsman. So the giant question would be, if you're a new investor or a newcomer into the, into the CDL, would you want to buy the Chicago Huntsman, which ironically would make this somewhat of an optic round two with Hex not being there. If you guys don't understand what I mean by that, when Immortals Gaming Club first bought Optic Gaming and did not get Hex and the boys to go with them, it failed. I think a lot of us can agree it failed under Immortals because it did not have Hex, it did not have the boys, and thus it was not Optic, and now someone might be doing the same exact thing with the Chicago Huntsman with Hex not being involved again. This is going to be a very, very spicy next few weeks, if not longer in the near future of what will go down. But what I've been told is apparently Hex wanted Chicago Optic. That by the league standards was not going to be allowed. And thus NRG have to acquire OGLA and sell the Chicago spot or Chicago Huntsman. Keep in mind, 100 Thieves is not 100% out, but if they were to actually come in, it seems that Chicago might have to be the spot as well. Again, in these business dealings, anything can happen. Obviously, there's a flurry of information going back and forth, but I've been told that it is a possibility that instead, NRG acquire OGLA, they sell Chicago Huntsman, and we could have newcomers into the league come over and take over the Chicago Huntsman, but it would be without Hex and Andy Miller and NRG and all of those boys as being a part of it. And very lastly, what this might mean is there is no guarantee the roster swaps would happen either. That means whoever comes in and takes over the Chicago spot or with it, the Chicago Huntsman, they would get Scump, Formal, Dashy, and Envoy. And instead, Hex and NRG would be operating with the current Optic boys. You know, it's... uh. Pretty, pretty crazy if that were true. So obviously when I found out the information, guys, I'm pretty mind blown right now. It could be very spicy. What is going to happen? I do not know, but I want to tell you guys uh, what I've been told. I'm sure some announcements are going to happen in the near future, but the negotiations are still ongoing and there's a lot of stuff to be talked about. What do you guys think about this? It's just, uh, it's still madness to think about what I just said out loud, but that's what I've been told. And the next time you guys know what to do, all right? What do you think about this? The future could be a crazy one for the Call of Duty scene and what more do you expect out of call of duty right the best drama the best storylines call of duty until next time drink your water drink your coffee i'll catch you back here sometime soon take care no.
I'm so lonely. Ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-